One day, in October of 1994, citizens of Bhutan were the victims of a flood caused by the partial outburst of water in the Luz to show glacial lake. The melting ice caused the hydrostatic pressure to be released unexpectedly. The moraine dam failed and the lake collapsed. What made things even worse was that the Tushopdak to show lake was also released. The Luz to show was located upstream from the Tushopdak to show, so the Luz overflowed into the to shop that, causing an immense amount of water to flood the Bhutan village. The depth of the flood water was calculated at 23 meters. The flood traveled 86 kilometers before reaching this village located down valley. The estimated speed of the water was 12 kilometers per hour. Several villages were greatly impacted by this flood. The thing that caused this flood to be so devastating was that the flood waters caused an outburst of other lakes as it passed through adding to the amount of water in the flood. I guess you could say that global warming has not been kind to these villages. The melting of these glacial lakes is what causes the outburst. Human life and property were greatly affected by this flood. It damaged 1,700 acres of agriculture and pasture land, washed away five mills and 16 yaks, destroyed six tons of food grains, washed away houses, caused critical infrastructure damage, and killed 22 people. Another aspect of the flood that made it terrifying was that it was in the middle of the night, so people in the villages had little to no warning. There were two people who tried to send out warnings at the local broadcast station, but their attempts failed. Although the water was relatively slow moving, the damage was still devastating due to their unpreparedness. The homes in the villages were destroyed, leaving residents isolated from each other and the debris-filled floodwaters. Due to the catastrophic potential of these glacial lakes in Bhutan, most of them have dams in the place to prevent flooding. However, the climate change has caused melting and outbursts of floods. Since this devastating event, several artificial banks have been constructed to relieve the overflow of the dam and stop any major flooding from damaging the nearby villages. Bhutan sent geologists and environmentalists to help recuperate the environment and study ways to prevent this from happening again. Unfortunately for the city of Bhutan, outlet control structures are logistically impossible to build at the high altitudes and the glacial lake areas that cause the flood.